Hi, Springs Ranch Bobcats. This is Mrs. Gamusio from the Art Room. And this week we're going to be making a Thanksgiving Day wreath. Now this project is a multi-step project, so I'm gonna give you guys a little bit longer to turn this project in. So you'll have the rest of this week and all of next to turn this in, and it is due November 22nd, the Sunday before Thanksgiving. Um, so with this project, there's a lot of extra materials. If you don't have these extra materials, I encourage you just to be creative at home, make what you can. And if you just absolutely don't have enough, you could also do a fall wreath drawing. And I've put a suggestion for a YouTube channel that has a great fall leaf drawing that you could follow along as well. So some things that you will need for this project are a paper plate that you can cut out the middle of. So you'll need some scissors, of course. And if you have uh, one, you could use a hole punch. So you can punch a hole in the top of your plate. If you have some string or yarn, you could loop that through so you could hang up your fall wreath as a decorative item for your Thanksgiving Day uh, festivities. And you'll just want to cut out the middle of that plate so you have the outside to glue all of your embellishments on. Um, you'll probably want some construction paper. If you don't have construction paper, just take some white paper and color your own leaves. And on each leaf, you'll wanna write down one thing that you're grateful for, because um, that's what this season is about. So artists oftentimes use art to express their feelings. So we're gonna express the things that we're grateful for. Some of the things that I'm grateful for are my friends, my family, my students who I miss very much, and just having a warm home and good food. Um, the target of our project is radial symmetry, or your, your wreath could also be asymmetrical, but what we're trying to do is create balance with our project, okay? So um, your wreath can be perfectly symmetrical where you try to get things on the right side to be even with the left, or again, they could be asymmetrical, however you would like to create it. But the idea is to create some balance, okay? Um, some other suggestions for your project, you could go out and maybe get some stickers. You can, like I said, either draw or paint your own leaves. You could also use felt leaves or silk or other fall leaves that you have at home. Have fun with this project, boys and girls, and I hope you enjoy your Thanksgiving break. See you again next time.